Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm making a very strange, weird looking video. So I'm just sitting back because I'm relaxing. And this video is kind of random and it's kind of weird and people will be a little bit confused. If you don't know me, you won't know that this is a thing. But if you do know me, you will certainly know that this is a thing. I wanted to talk about my main phobia in life because it's very weird and I don't understand it, nobody understands it, but if you've got the same phobia as me, please let me know because it's very weird. I'm going to put a poll up here, if you think this phobia is weird, say yes, if you think it's completely normal, say no, because I think it's very weird, but I have a phobia of it. So my phobia, I have a phobia of B-U-T-T-O-N-S, I can't even say the word, well I can, in a different context but I struggle to say I feel sick saying the word when I'm referring to the actual object so I'll leave the word on screen obviously I already have done it has a proper official word for it which I will also leave on the screen because I can't pronounce it and it is a recognized well-known phobia and I didn't think I would sit down and do a video about it because I thought well you know, I just, I have previously mentioned it on my channel in Q&As and stuff because I, I never thought of it to be like a weird thing or I never thought of it to be, you know, I knew it was weird but I just, you know, I, I've been, I've suffered from this phobia all my life so I just don't really think anything of it but it is actually quite interesting and I have re previously, I have recently looked into it a little bit more so I wanted to just make a quick little video on this and basically I have a phobia of B-U-T-T-O-N-S. And I never really have thought about it that much because thinking about them makes me feel sick. When somebody wears the clothing item with these objects on them, I honestly feel very, very sick and I feel ill. I struggle to eat food around people that are wearing them. You know, sometimes I'm okay and I can, you know, control my mind and I'm okay, but some days I just cannot get away from that fact. I can't watch a YouTube video if the person doing the YouTube video is wearing them on their clothes. And yeah, I really struggle to eat my food. So I'll switch off the video and I'll watch it later on. If I'm not eating food, I can watch the video. But even then, it's still a struggle for me sometimes, which is very, very odd. When I looked online, it said there's certain severities of the case. So there's, you know, the mild case of just feeling a little bit uncomfortable around them and feeling a little bit uncomfortable wearing them. And then there's a bit of a worse case where where you hate looking at them rather than touching them because some people hate touching them and then some people hate looking at them as well as touching them. I feel like I'm probably one of the worst cases that you can have because I sometimes sit there and I feel uncomfortable knowing that they're out there in the world, knowing that I'm living in this world surrounded by them and sometimes that makes me feel sick. I can't see them all I have to do is just know that they're there and I just feel uncomfortable. It's like people's fear of spiders, knowing that they're in the world sometimes will make them feel uncomfortable or scared. And for me, this phobia isn't a scared thing. I'm not scared of them. I feel sick around them. It's like, I always describe it like this, but it's like somebody throwing up next to me and me having to smell it, touch it, look at it. It gives me the same feeling of, uh, like a sicky feeling and I don't know why I can't help it I really can't I wish I could but I've always been like this since a young child and throughout all my school life you know even I had to wear shirts and stuff like that I was forced to wear them in secondary school I felt very uncomfortable wearing them I would feel sick eating my food at lunch times and I would just have to power through strong mind powers and get myself through but I just can't imagine anybody not having that phobia. I just can't imagine not having the phobia at all and obviously now I choose not to wear them but I still feel very uncomfortable. It's not got better, it's never got better but I think if anything it's probably got worse. I've had this phobia for you know since I can remember. My mum has the same phobia as me. She's got also a phobia of B-U-T-T-O-N-S and that's just crazy. How has my mum got the same phobia as me? And we both know how it feels and I'm just so glad because if she didn't have that phobia, she would not understand where I'm coming from. So I'm glad that she does. 
it, is it something that can be passed down? Is it hereditary? It must be because I've got the same as her. But what is it in our genes that makes us have this condition? And that's something that I'm actually going to look into. So if you know, like if you've researched it or if you're going to research it, let me know in the comments. You know, what is it something hereditary? Is it something in my genes that's making me feel uncomfortable to even think about the object? And sometimes I do actually gag. Sometimes I feel so uncomfortable, I gag and sit comes up. And I know that's TMI and I do apologise if you're eating. I'm not going to go too much into detail, but it, it is quite bad sometimes. And yeah, if I touch one accidentally, because I would never choose to, then I have to go and wash my hands several times. I can't just wash my hands once. I have to wash them about five or six times because I I just feel uh, I feel dirty. I, it's like picking up money. It's like you know you, you you know you feel dirty. It's like that, and even the thought of it now makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. But recently, I've started to notice that I actually have phobias of other things as well that I subconsciously sort of didn't realise. And one of them is the lids on a bottle. So, lids on a bottle. So I've just realised I might have to put the object on the thumbnail of this video. Will I? Probably not. Ugh. Um, anyway, um, I have a phobia of bottle lids. So like, you know, like plastic water bottle. I cannot drink out of the lid of the bottle and I'm starting to think about what is what is the root of this phobia and I think it's something that's small that's got holes in it it just makes me feel so weird and I think that might be it I think it's because it's small and it's got holes in it it makes me feel really really uncomfortable and the smaller the B-U-T-T-O-N-S is, so the smaller it is, the worse it is. The bigger ones I'm a little bit better with, but it's the small ones that are the worst. You know, the typical ones that you'd find on a school shirt, the absolute worst. But yeah, I've got a phobia of bottle lids as well. I have to always unscrew and drink out. I also have a phobia slightly... I've noticed of five peas. I actually feel uncomfortable picking up five peas now, and I think that's due to the size of them. I didn't really, you know, notice that that much, but now, um, recently, I've actually thought, actually, yeah, I do feel extremely uncomfortable picking those up. And anything that's like a small counter that's really, really tiny, I also struggle with. So it's kind of like small little objects, and I just find that really, really odd. But it, it's, you know, it's nothing that I can control. It's nothing that I can just be like, well, get over it, get over it, because I can't. So, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know. My mum also has a phobia of wool, and she has a phobia of um jewelry as well like small earrings i don't have that i don't experience that i'm fine with wool and i'm completely fine with jewelry and earrings as you can see absolutely fine but if my mum touches jewelry she feels like she needs to go and wash her hands her wedding re ring is very very plain because she would feel uncomfortable wearing anything other than the plainest of plainest wedding ring but it's just it, it's literally just a band of like a gold colored ring so it's super super plain I don't have that. We literally sound so weird. Me and my mum sound ridiculously weird. Like both of us having the same, <laughs> yeah. It, you know, you might be thinking, well, surely you're just listing things that you're not, you know, you don't really like. It is a proper pure phobia. And I've had this for years. So I'm trying to come round to it. I'm trying to look into it a little bit more. And if you know anything, please do let me know because I would love to know. Or if you know anybody that's suffered from, that, if you know anybody that's had this before or, whatever let me know i would love to know because i just feel like i'm one in a million i do know that people have this phobia as well it is you know it's got its own name everything like that but yeah i just want to look into it a little bit more so it is a little bit weird and it in my opinion it's quite a bad phobia because i do feel uncomfortable a lot of the time due to it when people are wearing them around me it's like a <sighs> It's like somebody's just picked up cat poo and put it on the table and I'm like, mm. but that's going on in my head. But in reality, I look like this. But in, you know, but really and truly in my head, I'm going, mm. you know, <laughs> so that's basically it. But I just wanted to make this video to discuss that because it's odd. It's weird. But it you know it's you know i wanted to make a video on it i bet there's like no videos of this on youtube or there's very few so 
I'm the first one. Probably, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, a little get to know me, get to know my weird phobias. If you've got any information on it, then please let me know. It's very random, but it makes me feel very uncomfortable. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more. And uh, subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.